High tech are the next team we're going to tackle. And of course, there was one driver in particular outshining the rest, fifth in the championship, 150 points. And again, most of those points, 123 of them, came from Isaac Hajar. Kaylin Frederick, kind of second season. I know he missed a lot of it last year, did okay. And then Nazim Azman, who might have hoped for more after, after last year, um, when he was doing Frecker, I think it was. Not any points this year. High tech. I thought Hadjar could have had a real good crack of the title. He kind of screwed that up with qualifying in Monza. Um, but as a season as a whole, again, another team with one one driver out front by quite a way, Josh. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> as man, um, he was there. Uh, this, this is, um, I don't mean to speak ill of them, but like there really wasn't much of him to speak about this year. And, you know, it may have been his first year, but guess what? It was Isaac's first year as well, you know, playing devil's advocate for a moment. Um, Kalen showed some good promise for sure. Like there were moments where he was, you know, he was up there, he was performing well. Not on the level of Isaac, but still, you know, it was, it was like, okay, well, they're good performances. Apart from his rally cross driving in Monza, where he was just continuously going over the track limits. But, you know, irrespective, I can't say it was a bad year from Kalen, but he was outshone by Isaac. And Isaac, again, one of the standards of the year um, to come in immediately and perform as well as he did. Um and to, to do that all whilst, you know, he came in uh, after half a year of being signed with the Red Bull, you know, Academy, or at least he had that contract signed a year, uh, half a year out from becoming the junior. It's like, okay, how's this going to go? Is he going to go well or is he going to stuff it all up? Well, he did well, but he just fell over at that last hurdle. And Monza was just a... This is a disaster of a weekend. Um, but yeah, still irrespective, you know, we know he's going to F2 next year. He's deserved that shot for sure. You know, um, you know, finishing fourth, was it in the standings? Probably unlucky, you know. It wasn't the still, end yet, fourth place. Yeah, but still, you know, it was a good year. Uh, very, very good year. So put in some very damn fine performances, uh, comprehensive performances. Um, I don't know if I put him ahead of Colo Pinto in my sort of ranking necessarily, or maybe I'm just looking at it and with sort of rose tinted glasses, maybe because I think that Colo Pinto is greater than sliced bread. Um, but yeah, still, you know, if we're going to take high tech here for a moment, you sort of had the three drivers completely spread out throughout the field. One was going for the title and performing extremely well. One had some good performances, but not quite onto the level of what Haja was. And the other one was barely getting out of the, was barely getting out of the bottom 10, which was like, you know, extreme ends of the spectrum. So each of them are sort of in different stages of their careers, I guess. Um, I don't know. I don't know what, <clears throat> Asman or Frederick are going to do next year, but I'll be interested to see how hard that is, does in Formula 2 next year now that he'll be in a car that will be a bit harder to learn and a bit and even more harder to keep alive as we know what those damn Delara F2 cars are like. <laughs>